out pretty far on the lake. Uh, I was testing my bravery using my new toy and uh, I did get it out uh, over a thousand meters away from uh, from where I was standing so we're talking roughly three quarters of a mile uh, also we're uh, about 300 feet in the air and just kind of panning around and taking in all the beauty that is Lake Michigamia this evening yeah just take a look at that sun going down it's just it's just gorgeous now where we're seeing the sun go down there to your right. That's where we spent most of our time uh, traveling and playing around in those Huron mountain ranges back there, seeing Rock Cut, Mount Arvon, making our way all the way out to uh, uh, the mouth of the Huron River uh, at Lake Superior. It, it's just a, an amazing place to be. Uh, just the, the trails are incredible and just just fun never it never stops the fun never stops out there I will say being new to flying a drone letting this thing get a thousand uh, a thousand meters away from me was was a little bit nerve-wracking I wasn't losing any signal on my uh, my controller but still just the fact the uh, it's that far away. My, my biggest fear is a giant bird's going to come down and, and uh, just take it out of the sky. <laughs> but uh, still, you can just look at the size of Lake Michigan. You know, I'm always surprised at how big it is. Uh, and also finding out it is definitely not the largest lake in uh, uh, the Upper Peninsula. But uh, yeah, we, we, we did spend one of, our, uh, one of our days riding all around Lake Superior. I'm uh, sorry, not Lake Superior, Lake Michigan. Everything around it, just the, the the houses people have around there, the, the lots, they're just absolutely beautiful. You know, it's a very peaceful place to uh, you know spend your summer, spend the weekend, go on a go on a little uh, family vacation. Uh, it's a beautiful lake. Here we are kind of testing the uh, zoom quality and see how far we can get in to you know, see some of these boats that are moving around. You see that little island right there in front of you. Uh, we were on the trails just on the other side of the highway and uh, did bring the drone out and flew it over, uh, over that little island and it was, it was pretty cool to see.
I do have a lot of drone shots from this trip and I'll tell you it, it was the some of the best money I ever spent was investing in a, in a decent drone uh, the, the perspective you can get from flying overhead uh, really starts to bring into scale some of these uh, uh, trails and hills mountains whatever it may be uh, you, you get a better sense of what we feel as the rider you know, exploring these areas uh, and I hope it just brings a, a, a better appreciation for what we see uh, that's always been my goal was to show more of what we see as uh, an, a rider on these trails for people that maybe either you know don't have the ability to do what we do or maybe it inspires someone to take up ATV riding and you know find trail systems like this and you know go out and explore yeah, there's me and my dad <laughs> yeah it's always fun riding around with him